So Dan, another great week in Tel Aviv. This is my third visit. Yes. And uh, it's been fantastic as ever. Of course, the food. Right. Wow. Just um, I, I went straight to the shakshuka place. Yeah. As soon as I got here. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. That's an Israeli set, specialty. Set me up for the week. Absolutely. And I actually took, we went to the only kosher restaurant that my colleagues actually thanked me for bringing <laughs> them to. <laughs> Absolutely one of the most memorable meals I've had. So tell us a little bit about what we got up to this week. Yeah, so I mean, apart from, oh, and the amazing wine as well from the Jerusalem Hills, got to mention that. So apart from eating well, drinking well, um, you know, we visited a bunch of companies to catch up with what they're doing. Uh, a few themes kind of uh, ran through the meetings. Uh, there's a whole bunch of companies who are helping uh, network operators to essentially transform from, from legacy to the next gen, whether the next gen is virtualization or 5G. So we talked to companies like Sedona, who are in this amazing building here. Now I've heard from uh, different service providers that their inventory systems are anywhere between 30% accurate to 70% accurate. That's horrible. Imagine how you would merge a network with that level of inaccuracy. Yeah, yeah. Right? We met with uh, Atronet, where we actually had a meeting in a park outside, which was absolutely fantastic. And RAD as well is doing some pretty innovative things in the uh, access network. RAD has been in this journey of uh, SDN and from the start. I think 2017 was the turning point. 5G, of course, as you would expect, uh, uh, cropped up. Maybe not with the companies you expect. ECI talked quite a lot about 5G, about providing that, that transport uh, underpinning that's absolutely essential to the, uh, to the success of 5G. Today, in addition to the transport layer, and the packet layer. We're also building now new software tools uh, based on SDN controller and based on additional applications that we are bringing in order to support the revolution towards 5G. Uh, and of course, um, uh, we went for the first time for me to visit Saragon, uh, again in the transport, in the uh, microwave wireless backhaul, um, and they are really uh, picking up again now and, and getting great traction. 4G, 5G, 4.5G technologies, and we need to provide a continuous spectrum behind that, either be it a backhaul or a front hall type of connectivity, depending on the operator's choice. Then associated that with IoT, obviously a really big topic across the industry, uh, and we went and visited uh, Altair, chip company, now owned by Sony, and they're developing uh, specifically uh, chipsets for the, for the IoT sector and making some great advances there. And, and finally, sort of almost standalone, a Star Home Mac. So Star Home, uh, a name really associated with helping operators uh, in the, the vital task of, of managing and making money from roaming. Uh, but they are now extending, gonna, and we're going to be talking to the CEO soon, uh, extending their business and branching out into new areas based on, on what they've done before. So as usual, you come to Tel Aviv and you talk to a really interesting set of companies who are all, you know, breaking new, they really are breaking new ground in all their, their specific areas. Really interesting week. Yeah. But you also did some visits while I was uh, uh, drinking that wine and eating that shakshuka. Uh, focus much more on the connected car sector, right? Sure, so uh, we talked to a couple companies here and one of the things we wanted to explore is why are there so many mobility startups and automotive related startups in a country that has literally no automotive industry to speak of? Right, They right. tried to manufacture a car in Israel in the 70s called the Susi Oh, which right. was a massive failure, <laughs> um, and later tried to bring a, an electric car into Israel, which okay. was also a massive failure. Right. But these companies are here. A lot of the sort of proficiencies that the tech sector in Israel has around sensors, around vehicle-to-vehicle uh, -vehicle communications, around programming and development, um, all those things have found uh, Israel really well placed to grow this new mobility marketplace. So we'll be having a, a piece on that appearing on, on some of our sites and that'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Okay, yeah, the connected car is going to benefit from your trip here. And it's true, I mean, Israel, anything to do, and we've been talking about this week as well, anything to do with data, IP, communications you know this, this is kind of the home of, of much of those developments yeah. uh, the other key topic this week everybody talked about it the weather yeah what happened I mean we got blamed uh, the, yeah. the Brits got blamed for bringing, for bringing the, the weather. rain right apparently it never rains in April yeah I don't know but it did for two and a half days here <laughs> it did and it even flooded some areas we missed that we heard the thunder heard about the lightning yeah. 
but saw the video images of flooding in shopping malls. It's crazy stuff. Well, I think the only thing to say to that is that we'll have to come back again really soon to make up for the lost days of this trip. That's right. And next time, we'll make sure we don't bring any snow with us from the UK. <laughs> All right, All right, right. Dan. Good Thank one. you so much.